Hello, my name is Tora Rocha, and we're here at the gardens at Lake Merritt. Welcome to the Pollinator Posse. We raise butterflies and caterpillars here at the gardens at Lake Merritt to help with the populations of the pollinators, and you can do it too. We encourage everyone to help us raise anise swallowtails and monarchs, and this is how you can do it. You can come and register as a volunteer at the gardens at Lake Merritt and either join the mother toddler garden or you can just become one of the general volunteers here and we can get you some caterpillars to take home. It's an exciting adventure. It is addicting, um, I will be honest, uh, but it's very easy. Anyone can do it and we encourage um, people to tell their neighbors and friends. Um, here we grow it on the, we grow fennel, we grow all the different host plants for anna swallowtails. Um, anna swallowtails will um, lay their eggs on any of the plants in the carrot family. So radishes, fennel, dill, parsley, um, hemlock, queen anne's lace. But here because um, fennel is a weed in Oakland, we seem to have the best um, rate of um, health, healthy caterpillars on fennel. So we encourage people to raise their caterpillars on fennel. It's an easy source to get. Um, your caterpillar will eat a lot of fennel. So it's something you want to have access to and you have to make sure it's pesticide free. So store-bought fennel doesn't always work because um, they could have been sprayed with pesticides and they work effectively to kill the caterpillar. Look at Bob. So, um, anyway, so you want to, when you're raising your caterpillars, you want to um, make sure that you have a clean, sterile surface that you raise them in. We encourage people to get the acrylic insect um, or frog cages, reptile cages at a pet shop. Um, but you could use any kind of jar with a net top. Um, there's a great website that someone started called Berkeley Swallowtails online, so you can see the whole tools and setup. Um, there are six, as a matter of fact, here's an acrylic cage you can use. Thank you to my helpful assistant, Sarah. Um, they're about $19 at a pet shop. You can also go to Toys R Us and get a pop-up butterfly cage. Um, it's netting all the way around and um, we do have a few to loan out to people, not a whole lot. Here's my, uh, thank you, Vanna. <laughs> the net cage, it has a zipper on the top. It's a very convenient transfer um, cage for when your butterfly does emerge. But um, we prefer that the acrylic cages when they're little and then when they get big after their sixth instar, we transfer them to the netted cage. It's easier for the caterpillar to climb the sides of the nets than it is the plastic. Um, but when they're small, we um, leave it in the acrylic cage. Everyone has their own way of doing it. The, um, a few tips when you're raising your caterpillars. Um, they go through six different instars. They start off, they're probably an eighth of an inch long when they first hatch from the egg. Um, an egg will hatch in three days in the warm sunlight. Um, and then it's 18 days from egg to chrysalis usually um, you have to remember that insects they're insects and so they're cold-blooded um, temperature affects them greatly um, they will go through six different changes um, and they grow from probably an eighth of an inch to two to two and a half to three inches long in 18 days it's quite amazing the transformation and they will um, sometimes do slow down and go a little bit slower than 18 days if the temperatures drop um, a few things to not be afraid of is one if your um, caterpillar falls in the water don't necessarily throw it out um, just leave it on a dry paper towel or in some fresh fennel and it might revive and more than probably 80% of the time they revive and come back to life and they're just fine. But they do not need a lot of oxygen so they can survive in the water um, for a little while. Um, 
The other thing is right before they go to chrysalis, they will do this thing called purging, where they will release a lot of liquid and it looks pretty gross and scary because you think your caterpillar is losing its guts. But it's purging, it's getting ready to go to chrysalis and then it will wander all over that cage and look very restless. Um, this is a really important time in a caterpillar's life. They're very stressed. So you try not to move the cage around, you try not to make a lot of loud noises and um, have it in a busy part of your house. You want to be in a kind of a warm, quiet area in your house and let it um, find a spot that it's going to go to chrysalis in. Um, and sometimes it'll sit on the top of the cage. They usually like to go up and they like to get under something. I highly recommend draping paper towel on the top of the cage. Some people put um, empty toilet paper rolls, the cardboard rolls, they like to go in there. It's like um, imitating a leaf that they would climb under in a tree or a bush. Um, they will hunker over, like hunch their backs up and look almost like a C, the letter C against the side or the top of the cage and they'll stay like that for several days. That's them becoming a chrysalis. Um, and what is actually happening is they're forming the chrysalis inside their body. And then when they get to the point where the chrysalis um, is fully formed, the exoskeleton, which is like their skin, will split open and the chrysalis will come out. If you're lucky enough to witness it, it is quite fantastic and scary all at the <laughs> same time. Um, I've only witnessed part of it. I've never seen the whole thing. Uh, if you are interested in joining our movement, please go to the gardens at Lake Merit.org website and um, send an email or send a message on the website that you'd like to be part of the pollinator posse and we will return your email and tell you how to join. Um, if you have any other questions, you can find me on the website or you can email me at v. Rocha, that's V-R-O-C-H-A at oaklandnet.com and I will try to answer any other questions. Um, you can also go to Berkeley Swallowtails. Almost every answer you could possibly ask is on there. Thank you and come join us.